The sirens began at twilight, and Sig watched as what was left of the population scurried into their homes, bolted the doors, and pulled blackout curtains over the windows. In the early years, patrols would have followed them, making sure no one was in the streets after curfew, but these days, nobody bothered. No one was foolish enough to be outside after nightfall during a dusting anymore, and even if someone were, it was one less mouth to feed with their increasingly meager rations. One less mouth to feed, Sig whispered to himself as he tightened the rags he had wrapped over his nose and mouth. He stared at the gates, ominous in the growing black, and doubted they would even miss him. Hesitation seized him when he looked out into the expanse of waste outside the cluster's walls. Luminescent, like motes of shooting stars, the dust was beginning to fall. I'm not afraid, he said aloud to no one. Even to his own ears, his voice sounded petulant and unconvincing, but it gave him courage enough to step through the gates. It's just a game. And at first it was. At first, walking beyond the gate into the swell of night was no different than when he was a boy. The stones ground beneath his boots but made no sound, already thick with the previous night's dust. To someone who didn't know what it was, a dusting would probably appear beautiful. Tiny pieces of light falling from the sky, clinging to every surface, gathering in drifts wherever the wind carried it, it would look like a fairy tale, like magic. Sig snorted, cynicism flooding through him at the thought. There was no magic, just choking, smothering dust and the things that came with it. He quickened his pace, finally becoming physically aware of the weight of his pack as it bit into his slim shoulders. It wasn't much, a few days' rations, his sky journal, and the necklace that had belonged to Bess. But outside the gate it wouldn't take long for the elements to make even that slight weight become an agony. He could barely see the stars through the dust now, and soon he'd have no way of knowing where he was going. Soon the real danger would begin. Dust clung to his clothes, to the rags protecting his face, its glow blurring his visions at times blinding him. He pressed on anyway. It's just a game.